Hey everybody, I'm Nicole and this is Anthony and we just wanted to welcome you guys. We are so excited that you've chosen to explore what it means to live and love like Jesus with us. One thing that I've learned is that our faith doesn't ever have to grow stagnant because God is constantly putting people and opportunities in our lives as an invitation to actively participate in God's plan. Yeah, have you ever felt like you're in a situation and you're in a crowd of people but you feel completely alone? Or maybe like something is really missing and you just don't know what it is. I've been there and it's hard. It feels a little empty and I can't help this underlying feeling that I want to be numb, that there should be more to this. Yeah, we were created with a desire to know God. And until we get to know God, we're always gonna feel like something is missing. There's this level of fulfillment and a need for love and a desire that only God can provide. You can only truly be loved to the level that you're actually known. And God knows us even better than we know ourselves. But he also wants to be known by us and he wants us to know others and he wants us to introduce others to him. God created us with this innate desire for connection. Pastors Corey and Jason are going to guide us as we explore what it means to live and love like Jesus. We're going to learn how to do that over the next several weeks together. We are so grateful that you have joined us on this journey to discovering what it means to live and to love like Jesus. The heart of this study really is to provide a clear path for you to know what it means to surrender your whole life to God, every part of it. No matter where you are in your faith walk, this study is gonna provide some practical tools to grow and to experience the full life that God wants for you. Each week, we're gonna watch a video together. We're gonna to engage in some discussion questions, and then you're gonna have some action steps to take throughout the week. We're really excited to take this journey with you. You know, at Daybreak, we teach that there are four decisions or commitments that every disciple of Jesus should make. And we put a lot of work into helping these decisions become very clear and doable for you. Let me go through them real quick with you. The first one is that you entrust your whole life to God, that you not only put your faith in Him as your Savior, but that every day you learn to entrust Him more and more with your life. The second is to enjoy belonging in God's family. It's a gift that we get to do life together. God has blessed us with this family of believers and there are active ways that you can engage in being a part of God's family. The third one is the privilege and responsibility to invest in God's kingdom. We are called to build his kingdom, to live for eternity, not just for the American dream or now. Uh, the last one is then God wants us to not only grow as disciples, but to go make other disciples. We're gonna learn that we are all called to invite other people into the faith journey of discipleship as well. So that as we live and love like Jesus, other people will learn to live and love like Jesus as well. Our prayer for you is that no matter how long you've been walking with Jesus, that through this study, you are gonna experience God in a new and fresh way. Let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you in advance that you're gonna give us everything that we need to follow your example and to live like you. Lord, our world desperately needs the love of Jesus. So as we go through this study week in and week out, help us to be faithful, to show up, to have our hearts and minds ready to be taught by you so that we can become all that you want us to be and fulfill the commission you gave us to go into all the world and make disciples. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. I don't think we could say it any better than that. Go ahead and jump into your study for session one and we'll check in with you again next week.